project inspired by the plight of Namibian children who have never owned a pair of shoes partnered with the local company Shilongo Leatherworks to manufacturing shoes for underprivileged children. Ekanjo highlighted the plight of children who are forced to go to school barefoot as by STEAM's research in collaboration with local councillors in different regions. The project, he says, is not only focused on school-going children, but every child who does not own a pair of shoes. We have committed that we are going to go region by region. Uh, and before I continue, I just want to show you the magnitude of the problem in terms of barefooted kids in Namibia. Uh, so that some of the sponsors who have decided, no, we'll probably just do a contribution this year. Um, that you hopefully change your mind in terms of saying... Uh, we, we need to stick with this project, um, not just for this year, but in the coming years. So, um, we have partnered with all the regional education directors in all the 14 regions, and we've said to them, go to every school and ask all the principals to send you names of kids that have either never owned a pair of shoes before, or that are simply barefooted. So, so quite a lot of things that we have not taken into consideration. Uh, but we are glad that we are making the very first announcement. Uh, of course, we, we need more money, but we want to show Namibians um, that this project can deliver. The shoes are 100% leather made. 80% of the material used are sourced in Namibia, and they have a lifespan of at least five years. Three recipients from the Okahanja Park Primary School smiled joyfully when they were presented with their new shoes. We then decided to offer a 35% discount on all the shoes that are being produced on this project. It's something that we haven't done before, but uh, we felt the need to do it because if we were not going to come on board, then the project can only support a certain number of children. But the plan is to do a big outreach and try to cover the whole country and get as much sponsors on the project and do a bigger, bigger uh, outreach so that we try not to leave any child out. A number of NGOs, corporate companies and individuals have pledged support to the initiative, including the MVA, which donated an amount of $100,000 to say it's indeed, indeed a great delight um, for the MVA fund as a, as a corporate citizen to be part of this very noble, socially uplifting project um, which provides decent school shoes produced by a local company, you know, and, and really that, that drives home the message of we are investing in our children, we're investing in their lives and we are making an impact in their lives. So I would just like to um, say that we are equally excited to be part of this um, this project, Never Walk Alone. They will never have to walk alone. Um, they will walk dignified with their shoes, brand new shoes on. And as part of this, we, we, are, part of, we, are, we are happy to be part of donating funds to the first beneficiaries of this project since it has been launched. So it's really great to see the commendable stats um, that have been mentioned earlier and how these shoes will be distributed. So we want to make a meaningful difference in the lives of our future generation. These are our future leaders. They will be here even when we are gone. And this is the impact that we want to make, um, socially uplifting impact as MBA fund. So therefore we did not really think twice when we saw the request from Tim and, and his team to say, you know, let's do something about it. Let's, let's help our children and, and make that meaningful difference. And in view of this, the MBA fund has decided to promote or to, to, to donate an amount of 100,000 Namibian dollars. The principal of Okahanja Park Primary School also hailed the initiative, saying it will change the children's lives. The school itself, he says, have taken on the responsibility to raise funds to ensure the project continues and benefits more children. Emily Joseph, NBC News, Vanduk.